guys welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is Mabel Jenna and on youtube I am Jenna's Hope in case you are coming to this channel for the very first time thank you so much for coming for my old subscribers you are always welcome welcome you guys are now like my friend you guys are now like my family I love you guys so much so I'm just trying to suck breast um you, as you all know we are, the season we are in now is season for corn yeah yeah this is it i have um coconuts to go with it and you can also use pear to go with this it's very yummy so um i'll be showing you guys what i have here so this is what i have here Join your girl to eat this, okay, guys. Um, I just went shopping for my baby. These are new clothes for her. She can see it's very new. Yeah. guys welcome 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 let me hold my corn first so you guys can see this right this is what i will be eating so um you guys these babies are growing so fast like these babies are really really growing fast So guys these babies are growing so fast like I remember when my baby was when I was pregnant yes when I was pregnant like eight months pregnant I got everything I needed the baby clothes and the rest my mom came because she didn't follow me to the market some of the clothes some of the clothes I got was my husband that got it and um, most clothes, I was the one that got it. So my mom came to my house and was like, what's all these clothes you're buying? Like, are you giving birth to um, a baby that will weigh 1.4 or 1.3? Because she don't understand. The clothes were so tiny, very, very tiny. She said these clothes are too small. That if I want to get clothes, I should have gotten something that will, you know, um, she can wear for, she can wear for, two months three months four months but you guys okay fine i got it after i put the bed okay i got those clothes that she asked me to put but another thing that is confusing me is that she grows like she grows more than that clothes very fast like my baby is very tall <laughs> she's she's growing big she's growing tall i don't just understand so i'm always buying clothes like every month okay so you guys can see this dress now you see how tall this dress is let me look for her cloak so you guys can remember this dress i posted you guys can remember this dress i posted on what's my hospital bag the video i'll link it up in my bio right now so this dress sized her when i gave birth to her okay in fact this was the dress she wore first okay now we are planning on keeping like in fact we don't wear her this clothes again even after that day the next two weeks we stopped wearing her this clothes she's close to two months now and this is what we are going to be putting on for her something that has 
that has um hands like this so that she won't overgrow it you understand so you see how tall the clothes is you see how long the clothes is so you know how tall my baby is and also be so this is what i would buy for her now like then if there's anything that will um make me get something that has this long hand i will just put on pullover or uh, what is it called sweater for her maybe during the time of cold okay yeah so guys um today i will also be discussing about as you all know my last two video my last two video i um i did a video where my baby went to take her six weeks vaccine you guys <laughs> This is what they don't tell you. Like this is what they don't actually tell you. Um, right from when I gave birth to my baby, when right from when I put to bed, I hardly sleep. Okay, I hardly sleep. I hardly take some rest. Um, we try as much as we could to sleep. Like whenever my baby closes her eyes to sleep. I and my mom that came for Mugo will try everything possible for us to, you know, sleep with her. But one or two things might just come up like washing the clothes, doing tidying up the house and the rest and the rest, okay? So it's not been easy, okay? It's not really I don't know why you guys are seeing me. It's not really been easy, like it's not really been easy. So um the day we went to take her vaccine. When we went to take um, a six weeks injection, um, you guys, we did not sleep that night. My mom told me that this is how it's going to be. On that day, that was when she told me that this is how it was going to be. And I was looking at it like something that, okay, maybe when she cries a little, then small time she keep quiet and then she she cries again and keep quiet again you know for some hours sleep and then when she wake up but you guys it's not like that you are not going to sleep don't let anybody deceive you you are not going to close this your eye like this okay as far as you are the mother your mom or the person that came to do a mugo for you or the person that came to stay with you can sleep but you you my sister you are not sleeping at all you are not going to close her. as far as she's not closing her eye you are not closing your eye because she needs this to sustain okay so guys this was how it happened that day we went to give her the the um, injection on that day i showed you guys the video she started crying in the hospital then after some minutes no after some when they gave her the injection she cried after like two minutes she stopped crying okay i gave her breast she stopped crying so um my mom was asking the nurse because when some children when some kids some babies take the injection they start feeling hot like they start running temperature my mom asked them is it this one and they said yes it's happened mostly for children okay but luckily my mom Give her paracetamol. I don't know what my mom gave her the medicine she gave her. I guess it's here. Yeah, it's paracetamol she gave her, and then um, she she gave her the the medicine first. She gave her the um, paracetamol first before we head to the hospital. Okay. Yeah. So um, after they have given her the the injection, two injection in her legs, and um, they gave her one drop of um something liquid something like that sham so um when the doctor was done with the treatment um we started coming back home while we are coming back home she did not cry so i was thinking it's not something that would be you know that much okay when we are coming back from the house she did not cry okay we came back from the house and then um we stayed for like 20 30 40 minutes to one hour that was when the real thing started coming like the real thing started coming and you guys the funny thing is that the night before that day i did not sleep i was just i was just pressing my phone doing some kind of researches and the rest my mom was like won't you sleep tomorrow it won't be funny 
I was just taking it like it's just a joke. <laughs> like it's just a joke. Maybe whenever she cries a little, I'll just you know. But my sister is not like that. So um, after one hour, the real thing came and she was just crying. It got to an extent when I start crying with her. Like <laughs> my mom said, that is how it. You the cry was not stopping. It was constant. Like it was. It came continuously, continuously. And the more it come, the more it become worse. Like the more it become louder. I started crying with her. <laughs> I was like, "Mommy, let's take her to the um, hospital. Let's take her to the hospital." My mom said it's a normal thing. It's a normal thing. Like she, she did not sleep. Luckily, around four in the morning, that was when the pain relieved her. But medicine my mom gave her before the injection worked perfectly because she didn't run temperature, okay? Yeah, so that's what the medicine she gave her before the injection worked. I cried. Trust me, guys. When your baby start crying like that, you, as a mother, you are going to like feel for her. You are going to get emotional. Like she stopped. Like she doesn't. She didn't even stop. Like she didn't close her mouth. If she's to um close her mouth just know is when i put breast in her mouth and even when i put the breast in her mouth self she won't suck it down much okay she won't suck it down much because the pain if she raises her leg up or maybe she tries to shake the leg to be comfortable or maybe she oh god she starts to cry shout i won't cry i won't call that crying okay i will call it shout because it got to an extent like <laughs> I was fed up. I said, Mom, I need to take her to the hospital. I need to take my, body, my baby to the hospital to cry. So my mom said, that was how you cry during your own time, okay? That she calm down, that very soon she's going to... You guys, I tried to sleep, but I couldn't sleep. Like, I was just doing my head like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. Hey! It wasn't easy. It was not easy. Like, mothers are the best, okay? Yeah, mothers are the best. So guys, that's all I want to share with you guys, okay? Yeah, that's all what I want to share with you guys. Just to let you know to be prepared for something like that, okay? Yeah. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video. Don't forget to comment down below, okay? Yeah. Thank you guys for watching.